All right, so welcome back to the channel. This is Paul, and today we're gonna to take a look at the rear suspension and why I made this change. All right, so basically, every year when I go camping and I load up the 4Runner, um, I would get this load of weight in the back of the 4Runner and the back would just dip all the way down. And it just didn't feel right when driving and it felt like the car was off a little bit. And also the stance just wasn't appealing. Um, so I decided to get something a bit more stiffer in the rear end to kind of balance out that weight. And the downfall about this was there was just wasn't much information out there. The car unloaded looks perfectly fine. It's got a great stance. It's about 23 and a half inch up front from the fender well to the center of the hub. The back is about 24 inch from the uh, fender well in the back to the center of the hub. So to me, that was kind of like the perfect stance. Because of this uh, softer setup, the car, when loaded, the back would just go all the way down and it just didn't give it a good driving characteristics and also just wasn't easy on the eye. So to combat this, I actually decided to upgrade the springs in the back. So I decided to replace the Toy Tech rear springs with their heavy duty spring and it's supposed to be able to accommodate up to 150 to 200 pound constant load which would give you the standard two inch lift um, however i don't have that extra 200 pound load so the car is actually higher than the two inch that they specified uh, but that is due to not having the additional weight but with that being said i couldn't find anything on the internet uh, explaining to me what that extra height would be if i didn't have the additional weight load but after installing this uh HD spring setup, it turns out that I was at 24 inch from fender to hub. Now I'm at 25 inch from fender to hub. So I've got a 25 inch um, fender to hub in the rear, about 23 inch fender to hub in the front. So I do have a bit of rake um, and to me that is fine. However, if I could level that out, that would be even better. Uh, but the next step for me would be to see if the Bellstein setup, the 5100, with the uh, Toy Tech spring would level this out a little bit. But today as it sits, if anyone out there is looking to do the same setup and you want to try out these HD springs, uh, by all means go for it. But it will give you that additional inch of lift in the rear if you don't have the additional load. So alongside that, I do uh, have the uh, Firestone airbags in the coils just in case I do get additional load and I need that bit of extra help. All right, this is the new spring tool that I got. It's just much more beefier and smaller so it fits into tight spots. So if you're looking to do this job, you're probably gonna need this tool. It just makes your life a lot easier, especially if you're doing this by yourself. And I didn't have a helper, so I needed these two here to help clamp the spring and compress them so that I could do what I needed to do. These two guys come in handy. I'll put this tool down in the description below. This is the cheapest one I could find online. So if you're going to do this, get this tool. It's going to help you out a lot. All right. So this is the Firestone that I'm talking about here. This is the airbag setup. I got two of them. This is the one for the Forerunner at least the 2017 that I currently have. Um, I'll put that down in the description below, but it did came in a pair and I do have those installed and I can show you that in a bit. These are the old springs in my car. These are the RC, RCC 2.0. That's what they are, RCC 2.0. Okay, it's a toy tech. So these were just removed last night. It did take me about two and a half to three hours to get these new one, the new springs installed and these old ones out along with the airbags. And what I still need to do is actually install this right here, the front differential drop kit, which I just haven't done. This is how it sits today. So the front here, about 23, maybe 23 and a half. I'd have to double check, but it's roughly around 23. All right, so this is the old school toy tech setup that I still have in here. Stock spring, stock shock. I'm looking to get those replaced with probably the Bilstein 5100 
and the toy tech um, springs in the front uh, I do have the SPC adjustable upper control arm with the ball joint that was replaced because it went bad and these new SPC ball joint comes with a little nipple at the top so you can lube the ball joint which is great this is the back I do have the shocks installed and it does have a wider gap the back you can tell here and here is the bag and the spring these are the new RCC 2.0 HD springs with the airbag and the airbag has a little section here that was just implemented so that we can pump air into the bags if needed I think once I get the new bell sting set up in the front it will probably level it off a bit but so far the ride quality in the back is perfect it actually rides way better than the front the front has been squeaking a bit so that still needs to be addressed and I'm thinking that will be fixed with the new setup in the front all right so I'm going to drop the parts down in the description below in case you want to get the same setup here um, if you have any questions feel free to drop it down in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video